those extra guards and that big room, which that big room, it kind of can be pointless. Like, I feel like I probably could have had a little bit more detail into the, that area, especially that really big room with all those guards, which most of the time I run out of ammo and I always come close to dying. Like, that's probably the biggest reason why I struggle in this map sometimes, is because of that room, and that there's only the two health packs on this whole map. That is not going to get you through your game. But, and then also with this map kind of introduces a lot better, is hallway battles. They are, I mean, hallways, they're annoying, they can be challenging, but also they can make you nervous. Especially when you get to like episode 2, or in like, like other Wolfenstein games, where you know that there could be mutants. And it, it, it's just, it's just very like, not saying scary, but it's just like you have to be very alert. It's just like I don't know where you start hearing someone shoot at you and it'll, it'll die. But I mean, this map is definitely up there. I think this one's not on the doll side. I mean, it is smaller, probably have had a little more details, but it's definitely a lot better than most of the maps in, in episode one. Another thing that also kind of surprised me in this map is the big the red room where you would go into that middle gray wall area to get the key. I am surprised that that guard by that door has never once opened that door and went inside there. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter at all, but I've just been surprised that that has never happened. But with that, we will now move on to Floor 9, the final battle in Floor... And it has episode 1 of Wolfenstein 3D2. And until then, as usual, I am the Club of the Man 1993. <laughs> 